Okay, so story poles. Story poles have been around a long time. They've been invented, I th they were invented, I think, by the Greece, Greeks or someone back there doing some ancient architecture, uh, uh, building, whatever. And I really needed one because, as you can see behind me here, this is one of my walls of the Kent City uh, Stockyards building, and it has 160 some odd windows all hand cut. And yet they're pretty evenly spaced, I hope, and pretty accurate. And so I'm gonna talk about how I got um, those windows spaced out so evenly and they had to match to the windows on every other wall all the way around the same level so here's one wall that's going to be a side wall um, for the project and what I did simply was I took that very first wall and I made a story pole so this is B for bottom Here's my first window, second floor window, third, fourth, so on and so forth, all the way up to the 10th floor. Um, so I know exactly where to put it. So I can put this B even with the bottom edge. And I'll move it up here so you can see it on the close-up camera. I moved that up to be even with the bottom edge. And as you can see, the other windows then line up all the way up. So it gave me a nice indication. Then I go into the, another story pole, actually. I thought I had it on the back side there, but it's not another one and I laid out the side to side so that I get even rows all the way up um, and cut those out. And not only did I do a story pole, but I must talk about another tip uh, in this tip because otherwise it gets all too short. I wanted to, I showed, a I showed a shroud, that's hard to say, I showed a shroud. Um, the, the last episode on uh, windows where I just wanted to show you how the curtains worked so once I'd done that, I thought, well, shoot, that's a great way to go about making the window cuttings. So once I had the, excuse me, kind of the area that they were going to be in, I can now lay this template. I'll move up again so you can see it. Make sure we're in frame. So I took and I made a plastic template here that I now can take with my knife and scribe those and then pop those out. This is Sentra, it's a very soft PVC foam plastic, so it's easy to cut. But that way I have all my windows then that I can work my way up and they'll all be exactly the same. And the nice thing about it is, I'll show you here, um, these windows pretty much pop into place and they actually stay there. So pretty neat little, little trick to make windows with. While you're working on your railroad, go down there and let your trains let you put a smile on your face. <laughs> See you next time.